<sighs> YouTube, what's up, baby? Back in this thing again for another review. This is Q's Insight. I am Callie, and today we're going to be talking about Season 1, Episode 2 of Secret Invasion. All right, now, Episode 2 is entitled Promises. Hold up. Now, if you've been to this channel before, you already know how we do it. We started off with the premise, three favorite scenes, and then the grade. And then we on to the next one. Alright? So, again, Season 1, Episode 2 of Secret Invasions. Uh, episode 2 is entitled Promises. Okay? Everything is all in well, except for this pimple right here. Alright? <laughs> but anyways. Um, so, we start off with... Um, well, we start off in 1997 in London... Uh, we see Fury uh, helping out with um, the squirrels, and he. This, of course, this is this is Fury when he's at, like in his youth. Okay. Um. And you know we're we're we're, we're kind of seeing how he's been helping out the squirrels, not just now, you know, but just throughout his whole life. Ever since he's been um, included in the situation, um, you know, with Carol Devers and everything like that. Because that's when the scrolls were um, kind of introduced to um, the Marvel Universe. Anyways, so we're, we're, we're following that. Okay. So we see him meet the uh, younger scrolls. We see him meet a, a certain scroll named Graphic, which... You know, Gravik is the scroll that is this ultimate bad now, right? He is the one that is leading um, an attack on um, Earth and wanting to make Earth a place of peace for scrolls all around, okay? Because this is what he was promised from, um, uh, from uh, Nick Fury. But, you know, just just was neglected of getting that. So, you know, him putting so much um, 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 belief and hope into uh, Nick Fury within these words of I'm going to make your people basically one of our people. You're going to be living on Earth amongst the rest of civilization and Everything's going to be a okay, where in which it never was. Okay. So we understand Gravik's um, um, role here. And we understand the fight that he has, the cause. His cause is just for his people. And this was something that was promised to him that was neglected, you know, to ever uh, come to fruition. Okay. So, um, anyways. We see that he is brought to um, uh, Nick Fury by another scroll named uh, Vara. Okay, um, Vara, of course, thinks Gravit can be useful to the cause, um, and then we then see Talos, and he speaks amongst the scrolls for a second. Uh, Fury then. Uh, speaks to the scrolls about, um, you know, working with you, well, working with humanity. Um, he needs scrolls to go undercover. He needs the scrolls to go undercover with, the, um, you know, a fake identity um, in order to like weave out like evil, right? Um, so 
So then, um, we end up getting back to the present time where in which, of course, the last episode ended with, um, Colby's death. Um, and Nick Fury being framed, um, for that death by, uh, graphic impersonating Nick Fury when he killed <laughs> Colby. Okay. So, um, From there, we pick up on a train. Um, and we see that um, Fury and uh, Talos end up having a... Um, a serious like talk like it's it's it, it it first starts off like really friendly you know what i'm saying and um just kind of the 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 conversation is is driven by finding out what's going on um with the whole scroll situation so you know you have fury trying to talk to um Talos and find out just anything that he maybe he doesn't know already okay um and then in the conversation you end up having um uh Talos tell Fury that basically he sent out a message to all of his kind that were you know for the same cause um to come to earth and they are already on earth so there's like a million or a billion, you know what I'm saying, scrolls here, right? You know what I'm saying, on Earth, right, at this point. And Nick Fury is basically mad because he didn't know that. And then just saying, like, you know, just us as a civilization, bro, like, the races that we have within this whole, you know, place that we live on Earth, we have so many problems. Like, we don't have any more room for another um uh race or 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 um you know civilization to to come amongst us to try to live here you know fully you know what i'm saying because we are already full and we already have so many problems so it was an interesting uh conversation that they had and in the end of the conversation we see um talos go his own way and we see that um uh, Fury basically told him to do so. Okay. Um, we then come to a situation where uh, Fury has to explain to Elizabeth, um, which is uh, uh, Kobe's uh, mom, you know, what exactly took place, what happened. Um, and he does. Um, we then see uh, Gaia, Gravik, um, and they talk about what happened. Um, and then eventually, uh, you know, because we're, we're sensing that Gaia is, is, is you know, she, she's for the cause of Gravik, but at the same time, she wants to like be on the good side. She wants to follow Talos. So it's in a way like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Talos has uh, Gaia under his, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 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 the same the same way of thinking that that he does so she's going to go about helping gravik but at the same time she's going to think about talos and if anything goes ar um awry from with um like in her like if she senses anything that gravik is doing is like extraordinarily bad like she's going to tell talos you know what i'm saying so but at the same time at the same time gravik senses this within um 
uh, uh, Gaia. So therefore, he, 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 he knows what's happening. And there's a situation that happens later on where it's like he's trying to tell Gaia that, hey, like, I like I know you mess with me and I mess with you. But if you if you cross me, I'm gonna kill you like and you're going to you you'll see that later on in the episode. Um, Jesus, a lot of notes, bro, a lot of notes. Let's speed this up. Um, so from there. We see that Gravit goes to a meeting uh, with um, the higher ups and, and his council. OK, and he's talking to him about the plans of uh, taking over, you know, the world uh, for the for the for the betterment of uh, the scrolls. OK. Um, and then comes a situation where uh, Gravik is actually um, now going to be like the chief of the scrolls. Okay. So he's, he's, he's going to be the chief and commander now. Okay. So this, 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 this gives him a whole nother, um, level of power and where in which he is really becoming a dangerous, um, foe, if you will. Okay. Um, you have some of the other scrolls that are part of the council that do not want to, um, comply with, um, Gravik's way of thinking, and so they 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 hit their way out, and they do not help this Coupe Diot do what they want to do now, because now you got certain part of the council, basically majority of the council, wanting to help Gravik do what he wants to do. You have about one or two uh, uh, scroll council members that were like, "Nah, we ain't doing that. We going over here. Y'all y'all evil." So that's that situation right there, and the the people that do not help out um, Gravik end up getting back into contact with Talos, where in which um, he figures out, you know, what is going on within their means of what they're planning to do. Okay. So that's, that's that situation. Um, we also see that. Um, yeah. So we got, we got to speed this up, bro. Um, We get into a situation where one of um, Gravik's members, which his name is Brogan, gets kidnapped by um, some people that are trying to oppose the scrolls, uh, Gravik's ways, right? <clears throat> he ends up getting tortured to the point where he ends up telling um, about, you know, certain information that ends up um, leading these people to, um, you know, cause a, a stir in Gravik's plan. Gravik goes to save Brogan and then um, ends up killing Brogan for him spilling out information to this um, opposing force. Okay. And this lets Gaia also know like, hey, like he knows what I'm doing. So either I'm going to comply with him or I'm not. And if I do, everything's going to be cool. If I don't, I can be end up being like Brogan because Brogan was obviously uh, a left or right hand to Gravik. And because he betrayed Gravik's way, Gravik killed him. Okay. And he didn't have to kill him, but he did kill him. Okay. Um, And then uh, we see that Fury ends up having a meeting with Rhodes. Rhodes tell him, like, look, you have to basically, like, stop what you're doing and comply with the, with the law. If you don't, like, I'm, I'm, I'm already keeping people off your neck. Like, you don't have no breathing room. Like, I, I can turn you in right now for the things that you've done. And then on the other hand, you have Nick Fury, like, yo, bro, like, I built this. I brought you in. Are you serious? You're not going to have my back. You don't believe me. You know all about these scrolls and you've known about these scrolls way before I even taught you about these scrolls. So why don't you believe me? 
So that's that's that situation, and I, I I have an assumption about that, but we'll leave that like that. So um, basically, at the end of the conversation, at the end of the meeting between Rhodes and Nick Fury, Rhodes is like, "Look, I'm gonna have to take you in." Nick Fury basically is like, "Nah, you're not." So then he ends up leaving, and we end up seeing him go back to his uh, his love, his past love, which is Vara. We end up finding out that he settled down with Vara. So when he said earlier in the episodes in the, in the season, he was like, I know scrolls, and I know scrolls that look better than you. He really meant that because we see that he actually settled down with the scroll named Vara, okay, um, which is the person that introduced him to Gravik. So what you can say is that maybe you can say that it, 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 it's not really this, but this is how it can be portrayed. Vara can be somewhat assumed to be Gravik's mother because of the role that she played in his life. Therefore, Vara and Nick Fury going out, meaning that Nick Fury is possibly like in this situation portrayed as the father to Gravik. So you see this portrayal of this is my father, this is the dude that like, you know, da da da, da. this is my mother, da 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 da, and I was told this and now I don't get it. So now I'm about to just I'm 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 going to I'm going to make myself get it now. You know what I'm saying? So we see Gravik's like whole we see it. We see it. I understand it. I understand it fully. Um, so, uh, but we, like I said, we see Nick Fury go back to, uh, Vara and they just kind of, you know, hug and kiss or whatever. That's basically the end of the episode. Um, three of my favorite scenes would be when, um, these will be out of order possibly, um, and they will be spoilerish. So if you haven't seen the episode, if you do care about hearing any spoilers, stop the video, come back later. But this is where we're at this point now. Um, so we got. Rhodes and uh, Fury, um, when they talk, and this was at the at the meeting when they were, um, you know, basically having drinks or whatever, and just the whole scene between um, Samuel Jackson and um, ah, I can't even, uh, and Don Cheadle, right? Okay, I'm not even talking about just Nick Fury and 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 um. And uh, War Machine. I'm talking about Samuel Jackson and Don Cheadle, bro. Like the actors, bro. When they had that whole conversation, very dope. Um, and there was truth behind what they were saying on both sides. Um, and it just, it just, it was, it was a really a good scene. Really good scene. Um, I, I, I could see both characters um, for what they were saying. And I, I do feel like now I can say, I don't think Rhodey. He's probably a scroll. Okay, let's let's just put that out there. I don't think Rhodes is a scroll. I I I think Rhodey's a scroll. Um. Anyways, and my first favorite scene. My second favorite scene would be uh graphic um saves Brogan when he goes in and he fights against these uh opposing force, bro, taking out everybody, bro. Like no, no hesitation like he's a very very skilled scroll and if he gets more power which is what he's trying to do we end up find out he has a plan to make this machine that gives him more power which i think he's basically going to be become the ultimate scroll like uh you know the the scroll that has basically all the powers the scroll that basically has the powers of fantastic four members okay i think that's what he's going to end up becoming from this machine um but anyways uh him saving broken bro was very dope. Just him displaying his skills, very dope to see. Uh, so that'll be my second favorite scene. My third favorite scene would be Fury and Talos talking in the very beginning when they had that talk on the train. Bro, both of the actors, um, and let me turn around and get uh, dude's name right. So Talos, his name is uh, Ben Mendelsohn, bro. The actor, Ben Mendelsohn, bro. And Samuel Jackson have a real talk, bro. And it's just like on that train, you can just sense everything. You can feel everything. It's a very beautiful scene. And things get hostile, you know what I'm saying? And you can sense that. You can feel that. And it's, you can sense it with the actors. You can sense it with the characters. Beautiful scene. Very, very reminiscent to the scene of Don Cheadle and Samuel Jackson or Nick Fury 
and the war machines uh, scene when they had their bickering and they're talking. Okay, I I, I like that's why I, I I like both of those scenes. Uh, so that'll be my third favorite scene. Okay, uh, the grade for this episode I'm gonna give it a seven point three out of ten. So definitely not bad, above average to me. I think you should check it out if you haven't. Um, things are going okay with this with this show. Um, not, not the happiest, but you know what I'm saying? I will definitely continue on episode three will be coming next. So stay tuned for that. If you guys saw the episode, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Let me know some of your favorite scenes. Do you think that this season is still uh rocking or you think it just needs to be thrown in the trash, bro? Cause you know, I'm still like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, meh, but let me know about that in the comments down below. Please remember to like subscribe and share as always. This is Q's insight. I am Callie. And until next time.